let's see. Not much to say about today other than the fact that I have been more exhausted than usual. I'm sure it's probably the uh, side effect of the, the new antidepressant, <clears throat> which is something that I'll have to dis uh, deal with for the next week or so while I work my way through the induction period. Um, but it's a different kind of tired. It's it's a, like a, a lethargy that's not related to brain stuff. I, I can't describe it properly. People who know what I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's a difference between being tired and, and out of it from a medicine and being tired and out of it from being depressed. And right now I'm experiencing both of them at once. Um, the problem with this particular antidepressant is that it's going to take uh, a fairly long time to for it to build up in my system, like um, a couple of weeks to a month before I start seeing proper results. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting month, you know, dealing with... <clears throat> Ugh, dealing with the compounded exhaustion, but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, there's a, an uphill, even however gradual, an, an uphill trend in, in my mood and motivation and stuff, so hopefully something will come of that. Um, I realized last night that I haven't actually uploaded the video of me building this thing. Which I wasn't even holding in shot. Um, so, uh, assuming I re remember to start it rendering before I go to bed, because I cut it into three pieces while I was making it, um, assuming I remember, I will render this tonight and upload it tomorrow afternoon on the main channel, not here, naturally. But uh, I've got a, I've got a couple of videos that I need to, to get out there. Um, that were recorded before I started learning how to make the light a little bit nicer here. So it's much brighter and a little bit more washed out. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more filming as soon as I have more energy. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about today. Um, oh, I did call my bank. Because I called the restaurant today to get a refund for that whole fiasco. And as soon as I identified myself, they hung up. I didn't even say anything, they just hung up. And so I was like, okay, well, if that's how they're going to be, I'll just do a chargeback. And I called my bank, and I was like, I want to dispute this transaction. And they were like, uh, well, what's the situation? And I said, well, I went to the restaurant, had a really bad time, um, and I left a bad review. Um, and they won't give me my money back. And they were like, well, they don't. We, we don't normally step in and, and do disputes like that. And I was like, ah, but in this case, uh, you know, their staff has taken, has decided to harass me outside of work and send, you know, somebody has sent me threatening messages over it. And like I said, the, the restaurant, when I tried to contact them about a refund, they hung up on me. So my only choice is to dispute the transaction. She was like, oh, well, that's different. You have a police uh, file number and everything? And I was like, yeah, I've got all that stuff. And she was like, okay, let me put this stuff down and, and I'll start the dispute. You should have a, a response. <clears throat> it can take up to 90 days. I was like, oh, that's a long time. And then she said, but, you know, the they'll, they'll provisionally give you the money back for uh, uh, in about 24 to 48 hours. Um, but, you know, and then if they decide that the dispute is invalid, they'll give you warning so you can make sure that you have enough, um, space in your account for it. I was like, okay, that sounds cool and, and fair. And so, you know, she started the dispute and, you know, we ended the call and everything was fine. About ten minutes later, I got an email saying, we have reviewed your dispute and have judged in your favor and have credited your account. So, uh... I didn't really have to fight very hard for that one. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be the end of that whole situation. Uh, the name that the guy had on Facebook when he sent the threatening message didn't bring up anything 
for the RCMP, so that was a dead end. Um, they did go and talk to the server at the restaurant. They also talked to the, the owners of the restaurant. Um, the RCMP did. So, you know, that's the thing that happened. And I think that's pretty much the end of that situation. So we'll just move on from that. Um, I have nothing else to talk about today, so I'm just going to wrap it up. Quick vlog today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.